Well, thanks, Jenny and Allison. I'll tell you, the energy in this room is, um, inspires me, and I hope this presentation inspires you. Um, the Leave No Child Inside movement uh, gets its inspiration from grassroots efforts like the Ohio Leave No Child uh, Inside Collaborative. Public policy, legislation, and advocacy are important to the success of the movement. Why is it important? Well, let's just see what's going on in Washington, D.C. and in Columbus, Ohio. Washington, D.C. is a good place to start. In the shadow of the U.S. Capitol, uh, school children play in one of our busiest national parks, the National Mall. This is a Parks Bill community celebration, and I hope that our congressional representatives were taking note of this healthy outdoor activity. No Child Left Inside, inspired by Richard Louv's Last Child in the Woods, is a national movement with a critical mission to reconnect children and families with nature. We want to move kids out of the blue light and into the sunlight. Um, we need to, well, let me move on. <laughs> There's John Sarbanes. The No Child Left Inside movement also inspired legislative action in Washington, D.C. Uh, John Sarbanes of Maryland introduced the No Child Left Inside Act, and, uh, and he was concerned that uh, Maryland students were deficient in environmental education and disconnected from the natural world. If passed by Congress, the No Child Left Inside Act would expand environmental education programs in our public schools and offer two grant programs, professional development grant, development grant for uh, teacher training and uh, building national capacity grant for innovative programs and partnerships. States are required to develop an environmental literacy plan to be eligible for these grants. Uh, Ohio's environmental liter literacy plan is almost complete, and you'll hear more about that later. The No Child Left Inside Act connects both children and educators with nature and encourages field-based education. The outdoor classroom makes in-class learning come to life. Environmental theory and principles are tested and made relevant in an outdoor setting, and it enriches the academic experience. With no congressional action in 2009 or 2010, No Child Left Inside Act was reintroduced this year with bipartisan support in the Senate. Uh, Secretary of uh, Education, Arne Duncan, who is leading uh, the charge to reform education policy, supports uh, expanding environmental education in the schools. President Obama's blueprint for education reform stresses the importance of environmental literacy to ensure that students better understand concepts and issues. Environmental education is best taught and learned in the outdoors. Wouldn't it be great to hear a teacher say, students, you can leave the classroom and take your lessons outside. Another significant event supporting the movement was President Obama's America's Great Outdoors Initiative in 2010. America's Great Outdoors is a bold expression of the President's commitment to protect public lands, conserve natural resources, enhance outdoor recreation opportunities, and engage youth in the outdoors. After a year of public input on America's Great Outdoors, the phrase reconnecting youth with the outdoors has become a national imperative. The Department of Interior started a Youth Conservation Service Corps, and the youth-led Outdoor Nation is rallying urban and rural youth across the country to embrace the outdoors and be responsible environmental stewards. Getting outdoors means getting out to a national, state, or local park, but it also means getting out in your backyard. Uh, these girls climbing a tree are getting multiple benefits of being outdoors, physical activity, play, adventure, social interaction, and um, uh, learning about the wonders of nature. Significant legislation called the Moving Outdoors in Nature Act of 2010 evolved from uh, First Lady Michelle Obama's Let's Move and Let's Move Outside initiatives. Uh, MONA, as it's called, uh, incentivizes communities to develop strategic plans to design healthy outdoor environments, including bike trails, parks and green space, natural play, ar play areas, and much more. Uh, Mona promotes the idea that outdoor environments are ideal for health, recreation, and education. Mona is really a statement on the value of healthy outdoor experiences. Uh, this bill encompasses a full range of outdoor programs and would most likely be, pl uh, be passed uh, with uh, pieces of it uh, being separately introduced or possibly rolled into other legislation. Mona will be reintroduced in the House this year 
um, as, as the Healthy Kids Outdoors Act of 2011, different name. Again, because the bill proposes new spending, which is not popular in Congress these days, uh, it will not likely be voted on this session. However, it is important that this powerful message uh, be before the U.S. Congress. Uh, action for uh, children is also taking place in the Ohio State House. Um, a coalition of representatives from health and hospitals, education, the business round table, OPRA, and others advise Ohio legislators to draft a bill that addresses two issues in the public schools, poor nutrition and the lack of physical activity. The Healthy Choices for Healthy Children Act was approved by the Ohio legislature in 2010. School menus would offer fruits, vegetables, and sugarless beverages and more physical activity through better physical education programs. But after hearing concerns from educators, the bill's original 30-minute physical education re requirement was withdrawn and changed to make physical education an opt-in pilot program. I believe that a good share of that physical activity could be done in the outdoors, and I know you all agree. Uh, the completion of Ohio's environmental literacy plan would make state and local natural resources organizations and parks and recreation agencies that partner with schools eligible for the No Child Left Inside grants. But that's pending passage of the No Child Left Inside Act in Congress. This could open the door possibly for state legislation that makes the outdoors part of every child's life. The No Child Left Inside Act, MONA, and America's Great Outdoors Initiative hold promise that our children won't be left inside, but ill winds are blowing in Congress. House appropriators want to defund EPA's environmental education grant programs. The Land and Water Conservation Fund, bicycling and walking programs are being threatened with elimination. Advocacy is needed on Capitol Hill and the Ohio State House and our respective communities. Who are the advocates? We are the advocates, and it's up to all of us to carry the message forward. Thank you very much. <laughs>